He is the pride of Waianae. It's always very special in Max Holloway when the uh, the Blessed Express comes through. He's in Las Vegas. Trilogy fight against Alex the Great Volkanovsky this Saturday, UFC 276, co-main event, Las Vegas, T-Mobile Arena, July 2nd. Here he is, the one and only, the newly married man, Max Holloway. How are you, Max? I'm doing good, but I've been... I'm, I've been great. Look at, you, look at your hair, man. I love the hair. You're not going to cut it, right? I think it's great. The longer, the better. Yeah, 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 no, I mean, it gets to a point where if I don't get too long, it's kind of out of control, so I kind of like like this length. <laughs> no, it's looking good, man. Everything, Everything's looking good about Max Holloway. By the way, congratulations, uh, Mazel Tov, to you and your, your, your bride on the recent wedding. I just wanted to clear something up. It was interesting because usually it doesn't work. I got the save the date, but then I never got the invitation to the wedding, so I was curious what happened. I got... But I didn't get the fall. I got so I, I put it on the calendar, but I never got the actual. So what happened there? Did I not make the cut or what? Uh, a lot of people's uh, invitations got lost. I think. Okay. I mean, people are telling me like you're not the first one. They're like I'm like I don't know. You guys didn't RSVP, so okay. blame blame uh, blame the the mail system. All right. Um. What was it? What What was it like? What What a day it was. I mean, it was. Uh, it looked amazing. What 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 did it feel like for you to to be uh to be there with your son? To live out your dreams, what could you could you even describe the kind of day that it was? Uh, I it, it was perfect. I mean, it was perfect. It's supposed to, it's supposed to rain. We supposed to have a tent, but uh, it didn't end up raining. We did not. We didn't end up putting up the tent, so it, it made it made the wedding look way more beautiful. Uh, my wife looked beautiful walking down the aisle. So, I mean, perfect is the only word I can say. I, I a bunch of family. We was like the first. Uh, it was the first big wedding since uh, the pandemic in Hawaii. I think it was the first one that they opened up and we, we could have people there. So it was uh, it's pretty amazing. I feel like this is kind of like the natural question that people ask, and I'm going to do it as well. Do you feel like anything changes as far as your approach to the fight now that you're a newly married man? Do you, does it feel like you feel like you're fighting for something bigger? You have a family? Like Obviously, you were a dad already, so it's a little different. But does anything change in the mindset? I mean, not really. If anything, my wife made my life easier. So she uh, she took a lot of things off my plate, and uh, she just makes it easier. So all I get to do is go out there, focus, uh, do my thing, uh, come Saturday night. How'd she make it easier? Because she, I mean, she's an athlete as well. She probably has a crazy schedule too. So how did she make it easier for you? That woman, they're amazing. <laughs> I mean, she's a, she's amazing. She's a, they're like almost superheroes, you know. So. That's that's how she did it. She 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 does a lot, and uh, I'm just super grateful for her. Now, is is Rush attending the fight on Saturday? Rush, yeah, yeah, for sure. Rush be here. Rush be here. Um, you know, like I said, you know, during the whole pandemic and stuff. I mean, if if they would allow me to, to put him in the in, in my corner, that's what I would do. You know, if Nevada, <laughs> the state, and the commission allowed me to put him in the corner, then uh, that's what we would do. You know, so he's excited to finally be there. So is this uh, the first time he's had a fight since the first Volkanovski fight? No, he was he was he was at the fight. He was at our fight um, for uh, yeah, the year. last one, yeah, year. Oh, because they had yeah. at that point they had some fans in attendance. Yeah. But this is the first time you fight in front of a full crowd since the first Volkanovski fight. Yes. Oh yeah, so he's gonna you know him little little shine stealer. He's probably gonna have his way that with all the crowd and stuff being back. So uh, you were supposed to fight a few months ago. Unfortunately, the fight didn't come to fruition. He ends up fighting a uh, Korean zombie, Volkanovski did. Uh, I don't, it, it was kind of a bit secretive. Like, what? Are you able to explain why that fight didn't happen back then? I mean, the, the main thing I can say is just miscommunication, man. Miscommunication. That's, that's, that's about it. Okay. It's just a miscommunication. Uh, were you upset about that? Uh, yeah, I'll, of course. I'm, I'm a fighter, you know, I want to fight him. But, you know, we, we're here now. Uh, I mean, International Fight Week, it's huge. It's big. Uh, the card is big. So, I mean, it's, it's just crazy, you know. It's crazy to be here on International Fight Week and be able to, uh, the spot that we're in. So, super exciting. I'm assuming you watched his fight against Zombie, yes? No. I didn't watch it. Come on, Max. I don't believe you for a second. What are you talking about? You didn't watch it? No, I was on, uh, you know, a game, right? On Facebook, yeah. Facebook, 
GG backslash Max Hollow official. Come check me out. If you look at the time of his fight going on, I was probably playing Apex at the same exact time. Actually, I know for a fact I was because people were telling me who won. But even after the fact, you could go on ESPN Plus. You can watch it whenever you want. You never went and checked it out. No, I mean, I did. I didn't see it. I didn't get to see it. I uh, my my coaches them. Uh, some of my coaches watched it for me, and they told me they told me a little a little stuff about the about the fight. But I I didn't I didn't see it myself. No no interest. Like I'm just curious why not check out his last performance. Uh, because my coaches and a bunch of guys watched and told me that uh, I didn't have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> like it just wasn't, it, there was nothing to be learned from it? I mean, I think, I think a lot of people expected it to, uh, the way the fight went, a lot of people expected it to happen that way. So that's what they said. They said it, they, they went the way they, the, we thought it would go and um, I didn't, didn't have to tune in. So I was like, okay, cool. Save me some time. Get Get back on the games or something. Uh, the 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 first two fights. Did you watch those? I wa I watched the uh, I watched our first two fights uh, a couple of times. Yeah. Which performance from yourself do you like better? Your performance in the first fight or the second fight? I don't know. I mean, the second it gotta be the second one. Yeah, for sure. You still believe you won that fight? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I believe I did enough, but it doesn't it doesn't matter what I believe, Errol. You know what it is. There's uh three guys sitting. Three people sitting ringside, you know, the judges and uh, whatever is their call at night is their call, and uh, you got to live with it. You know, I, I've been on this uh, kick lately, but really, you deserve a lot of the credit for it because you kind of started this uh, this movement before, you know, I've been doing it as of late. Open scoring, I'm a big fan of open scoring. I really feel like open scoring should be a thing only because it benefits you guys because you at least deserve to know where you stand in these massive fights. Could you say confidently, had you known what the score was going into the fifth round in either one of those fights, that you maybe would have done something differently? Ah, uh, for sure. You know, I mean, when you, when someone's telling you you're down and you know you're down, when you look at the cards, then someone's gonna go after it. But then the opposite side of that too is knowing that when someone's up, you know, you don't know if they're gonna, and they know they're up, you don't know if they're gonna fight. So you know, there's a lot of give and take with those things, you know, but. Commission is going to be commissioned, you know, Dana going to be Dana, whatever, whatever he wants. We'll see what happens. Uh, you, you seem to be in favor. Are you still in favor of it? Uh, for sure. I mean, why not? I mean, not, why not try it I, or, or try a different taste of it? You know, just, just give it a go. You know, don't, what is that saying? Don't knock it till you try it, right? So right. why not? You know, why? I would love to see, I, I would just love to see how it is, especially on a card like ours, you know, like with, with the fans and the crowds, see how judges react when, when fans are screaming, when someone throws a punch and it doesn't land. But since the fan, I want to see if that affects judges, you know, which I, which I think do, you know, because uh, we're all human. And uh, that is it. I have pulled probably 30 fighters at this point. I think just one, Ally Quinto, is the only one who said he wouldn't be in favor of it. You all want it. And yet no one asks you guys if you want it or not. No one asks your opinion. But yet it's just a small little tweak to the system that only benefits you guys. You're in there. There's so much money at stake, legacy at stake, belts at stake. The least you can know is where you stand going into the, the final frame. Yeah, for sure, you know. I mean, there's there's a bunch of tweaks, you know. Uh, I, I mean, our judging system is off of boxing, you know, our old system, you know. And, and most judges... Is is like boxing judges, you know, so that they, they don't really know too much mixed martial arts. And uh, I know John McCarthy got his class, so that'd be cool if a bunch of people started doing the class. But we see what happens, you know. I think so. We're gonna run this problem uh, for many times coming because our our sport is only growing. Everybody's getting better. Everybody's getting elite. So it's gonna be amazing, and I'm kind of interested to see how how the future goes. I almost hate asking this question to, you know, the highest of level fighters because ultimately it's it's kind of disrespectful to you and the opponent. But given how the first two fights went, do you feel like it's imperative that it doesn't go the distance so that there's no questions asked, there's no issues, there's no controversy? Do you need to get a finish here? We see it happens, you know, uh, for sure. I, I fight for a finish every time, you know. And like I said, like I told you, I'm on all for every fight, you know. No, I, I fight my. I'm, I'm gonna fight this fight just like how I fought every other fight. I get to my first, 
and it might be my last, you know. So if I've been in there with 10 rounds, 10 rounds with the guy, I feel good, I feel confident, and uh, I've been saying uh, we'd be lucky if we get past three in this one, so I can't wait for it. Does Max Holloway need a belt in order to realize his his ultimate fame in this sport? In other words, I think that there are certain fighters who are bigger than the belt in their weight class. I think Connor is bigger than the belt. I think Nate is bigger than the belt. I think you have reached that status at 45 as well, that you are bigger than the belt. Do you agree with that sentiment? I mean, yeah, you said it, Errol. I mean, if you said it, I'm going to agree with it. You know, at the end of the day, I I always told myself that, I, I you know, the belt, the belt doesn't define you, you know. I'm a champion. I've been telling my champ. I've been telling everybody that, I'm going to be a champion and I was a champion from since when I first got into the UFC, you know, that's just, that's just the way that you got to carry yourself. You know, if you, if you don't carry yourself that way, then why, why are you fighting? You know, are you fighting to be the second best in the world? That, that makes no sense. You know, so I keep telling myself that I'm the best and I'm the champ and you know, it, it is what it is. If you, if you disagree, then we can, we can figure it out in, in Nakhlegon. So in other words, the reason why I asked that is what motivates you going to this fight other than just like the, the, the athletic competition of beating this guy once and for all, is the belt any kind of motivation here? Like, do you miss being champion? Do you miss being called champion? Do you miss having the spoils that come with the belt? I mean, what motivates me is, is just the competition, you know, the competitiveness, you know, Ariel, like I said, you know, what, what rank in the palm upon rankings, what do you know what rank uh, Alex is? Uh, I think most people have him at number two or number three at this point. So he's top three. Yeah. Do you know what? Like, do you know what rank I am in the pound for pound rankings? I, I, you're in sure the t- you're in the top ten. Yeah. So it's like that's just it. You know, you're that's six. what that's what Yeah, six. So look, if you look at it this way, Ariel, like it, it's crazy. You know, when in the last decade, you know, did this did this fight happen where? Two top guys in the top uh, in the top ten pound for pound rankings yeah. happen. How many times did it happen? You know, I mean, the only guys that come to mind is DC and Jones. You know, yeah. that's the only guys. You know, and we're here now. You know, this this fight, these things don't happen. You know, and, and these are the things that excite me. You know, we get to be a part of that history. And um, to you guys, to all the to all the hardcore fans, this is what they want. They want the best of the best fighting each other. And here they are. You know, these these, these top pound for pound fighters don't fight each other. They just don't. It doesn't happen. You know, it happens every so often in a decade, and uh, we're getting blessed with one right now. It is a great point. It doesn't happen in MMA. It doesn't happen in boxing either. Uh, two guys. So according to the UFC official rankings, he's two, you're six. This is as rare as it gets. It's very rare to have two guys in the top six in the same weight class who are both the rightful guys, not like a match that they made and put together. Can I ask you a crazy question, Max? Uh, and I'm just, I'm, I'm very particular when it comes to these things. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if I've ever heard you say Alex Volkanovsky's name, like his full name. Is there oh, a reason I, for I, that? You guys know his name? Why well, I gotta say <laughs> How come? I, I notice you never say his name in interviews. You always say him, like even dating back to the first one. Is there a reason for that? I mean, I think I just, I think I just say everybody's name. That's kind of weird. I, 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 no, not name. I think I just say him or whatever because I acknowledge him as that. So. I don't know, and and Volsonovsky has like that's a tough last name, so I don't want to butcher him. <laughs> I was wondering if early on it was because you kind of viewed yourself as up here, and he was not on your level, and you didn't want to kind of give him that respect. Am I cra- am I looking into this too much? Uh, I think I think you are. You know, okay. I don't never, I would never ever look at that. We're all humans. We're all humans. No one, no one's on a higher level than anybody. I like to think. Is, is it possible, though, in retrospect, that maybe you didn't realize how good he was the first time you fought? Is that fair? No, not at all. I mean, you know, he 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 beat uh, he beat some names. He beat Aldo. He beat Mendez. You know, he was he was standing across from me for for a reason. You know, so I, I give him the respect he deserved. You know, to get to get there, to get to a championship level fight, to beat former champions and former people who fought for a belt, I say it's a lot. You know, so or. or no disrespect, all respect to him. Are you impressed with how much he's improved? I know you say you didn't watch the last fight, but I think he has come a long way since he first came into the UFC. Has his progression impressed you? Ah, uh, for sure. You know, to 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 become a champion uh, and to be at that level and to keep on getting better and greater, it's cool to see. You know, so it's uh 
it's it's looking like it's going to be a fun one come uh, come Saturday night. Uh, you know what it's like to fight at 55. He has talked about fighting at 55. Do you think that he could be successful at 55? I mean, don't they talk about like he's like at 55 and 70 outside of the UFC? So I, th- I think he'd be fine. You know, I think he know how the weight is. I think he knows how everything. So we we'll see what happens. You know, first thing first, though, he got me on his plate. So I'll be focusing on me. And uh, I can't wait to see him across the octagon come Saturday night. Are your days at 45 numbered? We see what happens. I mean, <laughs> it happens. Never say never, right? I mean, there's interesting fights up there, you know, especially with uh, with um, Oliveira leading the pack and stuff. So we see what happens, you know. I, I can't wait. You know, first things first is Alex, July 2nd. Uh, let's uh, bring bring back balance to the world and uh, <laughs> we'll go from there. Uh, are, are, how are the cuts though? As you're getting older, how 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 are these weeks for you? Uh, it's been good, you know. The last couple of cuts been actually easier. It's been getting a little bit easier and easier. So we we'll see what happens, you know. I mean, I can only speak on it now, but we find out uh, how it's looking Thursday and Friday morning. Man, I would love to see you fight uh, Oliver again. Of course, you have a win over him in uh, very exotic Saskatchewan when you were on that Canadian tour of yours a couple of years ago. <laughs> yes, uh, very close. Uh, in terms of uh, like uh, climate to uh, to Hawaii, uh, did you did you think it was did you think it was fair that they stripped him? Ah, uh, bro, nah, man, nah. I feel I feel bad for the guy, man. I don't know. He just the guy who was weighing him in is a stickler, bro. That's just what it is, you know. It was, it was like moving, you know. You go to fifty five, you should have let it move a little like that and say fifty five. How much yeah. time do you see it, you know? So I don't know what happened, man. It sucks. It sucks for him because now. His next fight is not going to be a title defense if he wins it. You know, he's winning the title back. So, like, that's that's history getting taken away from Oliveira. And um, I feel bad for the guy, man. He, he, he's he been going out there doing his thing. And, like, half, half a pound, bro. Like, come on. You know, like. So what? crazy. Uh, that, 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 it, it, I feel bad for the guy for sure. So you think they should have just let it. I mean, there's sometimes, I mean, you're going to Abu Dhabi. The thing's not even, like, set. And they're like, yep, you're good to go. He just ran into a yeah. stickler. They should have just they should have just put it on fifty five and see how it is. I mean, if it if you put it on fifty five and the and the meat scale go up high, then it's like okay, obviously. But if it's bouncing like that, it's like, come on, that's 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 fifty five, you know. So, uh, I feel bad for him, man. I, it hurts him a lot. It hurts him legacy. Probably hurts him in contract wise. So, we see what happens. Has anyone said to you, Max, you win this fight, we're finally gonna make it happen, UFC Hawaii? I feel like it's time. Has anyone said this to you or your team? Ah, uh, Ariel, no. I no mean, one said this. No, no one said anything. So at the end of the day, I'm just happy to be here. I mean, this is the ninth island in Las Vegas. So you guys want to see how, how rowdy the Hawaii crowd is going to get? Tune in July 2nd because uh, you guys are about to find out. Have you given up that dream? I mean, it is what it is. You know, we see. I mean, if they tell me I'm not going to lose sleep over it you know i'm just like if, if they give it to me they give it to me if not then uh they're not you know we have we have like like i said las vegas we have the ninth island home away from home so we're here now did you go to those bellator cards that were there a couple of uh, months ago i did not i did not go but we had we had we had uh we had a couple people fighting them but i, I wasn't able to make it you can't be bothered you're you're a, you're a ufc guy you can't be seen at a bellator event right <laughs> Who knows? Um, uh, but I just, I was thinking, I saw Yancey. Yancey got like this incredible pop. He looked like a superstar. And I was like, man, it would be a crime. It would be a travesty if Max never gets this in front of his people. I don't care, 10,000 seed, 12,000 seed, 8,000 seed. You deserve it. Like, we need to figure this out once and for all before it's too late. Only time will tell, Earl. Only time. Yeah. All right. Um, any any of your famous friends coming to the fight? John Mayer, any of these? Bobby Webster, the Raptors, any of these guys coming by? Uh, John Mayer. John Mayer is on tour right now. Oh. Uh, so he he came in. I think he's going to be in the Garden that night. MSG. I think so he's, yeah. Oh, I think he's going right. to be in the Garden. Oh, Boston. He might be in Boston. Okay. All right. Uh, Garden. TG Garden in Boston. Yeah. He might be. So. He couldn't make it. Um, Bobby said he's coming, so pretty excited for that. So oh, we, we got we got some we got some guys coming out for us, so it's gonna be super cool. Should you be the main event? Let's be honest. Should the trilogy be the main event? I mean, I mean, you guys ask yourself. Go make a poll. You know, you got Twitter. <laughs> yeah, make a poll. See, who should have been the main event. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. 
I'm just happy to be here, you know. Like, I, like what I said before, every time I'm on the card, I feel like I'm the main event. I feel like I'm the guy that got the most to lose, so that's why we're here. And just curious, and, and I know you're, you're big into the gaming Apex, right? You say you play now? Is it called Apex? Yeah. Is yeah. it because of the UFC Apex that you play that, or is that nothing to do with it? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Okay, my bad. I, I, I play Apex Legend because it's another battle. I used to play Battle Royale. I used to play COD. I had a bunch of hackers, so I had to I had to jump over. I was getting over it with the hackers. So what do you mean hackers? Apex. What do you mean? Gaming hackers. People hack. People hack games. Like I don't know. What do you mean they hack they your game? Hack. They come into your game? No, no. They're like hackers in their game. They're cheating. It's called this thing called aimbots and oh, wow. and wall. So they're, they're, it's it's not fun. Do you it's let your son play. play these games? No, he don't play no games right now. Nothing. Not at all. No, no, no. He, we we. We try to make him get outside more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. That's. But what about fighting? Has he said that he wants to start fighting, start training, follow in your footsteps? Uh no. He trains. He trains jujitsu, but I. He, he ain't. I mean, if he wants to fight later on in life, but right now, I. He don't know what he wants. You know, if he told me to fight, I'm like, you're you're crazy. Fighting is too nuts. Right. Would you want like honestly? Would you? Some people try to push their kids to do it. Would you? You know, knowing the dangers, knowing the the damage, would you be comfortable with that if he tries to follow you? No, not at all. I don't want him to fight. I don't, don't want him to fight. You, you know, yeah, I I do not want him to fight at all. I mean, you heard me say it a hundred times before. I want him to be a doctor. He can he can uh, go work on the fighters. <laughs> you want to fight? Fight for a different reason. <laughs> Why not? Because of the damage? The damage, the weight cut, the the whole the whole fighting thing, bro. This this life ain't this life ain't, this life ain't for some people. So I, I, I went through it. I'm doing this so you don't have to go through it. Yeah. That's my that's look at it. Have you have you set an age as to like how long you want to do this for? I always see what happens, you know. I I said thirty five, you know, maybe a little bit after a years, couple a little bit years after that, but we see what happens, you know. Never say never. Thirty five, so we got five years left. Yeah, yeah, five years left for me, so enjoy it. And and you, be being angry. You don't get worried about like the body or the damage, the head, things like that, because you were doing it at know. such a young age. Yeah, not at all. I mean, me and my team, you know, my business partner that you know, yeah. uh, my coaches, we got doctors, we do it, we do the whole nine yards, blood test, whatever, like, they they make sure that everything is running smoothly, and um, that's what we do. The great Chris Deggett. I mean, what a legend this guy is. He is one of the best minds in the whole business. Really needs to be out there more. I don't know why he's always in the shadows. Why doesn't he put himself out there more and let more people know what he does with you behind the scenes? Uh, because he's like Batman. There's yeah. Batman choice. No, there's a fucking Batman and a fucking is Chris Daggett and Batman. So, All do right. you guys do you see both of them in the same place at That's the same time? And just, That's a good point. Uh, before I let you go, I just wanted to ask you. Uh, this is what I was getting at earlier. Do you have a, a read on the 45? Like, do you look at the guys? Because I feel you know Zabit just retired. I don't know if you saw this. It's kind of wide open here. Are there any guys that you feel and and you fought a lot of them because you were at the top? You fight a year or t like do you, do you who's who's out there that is of interest for you at forty five? Oh, uh, whoever you know, uh, we can get a bunch of rematches. I know your year and Ortega got a big fight yeah. coming up. Uh, I know had a I know Cater Cater had a big fight uh, this past uh, couple weeks. So we see what happens. You know, I mean that's just what it is. We're we're in that point where. We was a couple of years ago where we didn't know who was the next contender. You know, I was one of the guys that shuffled in. Alex was, and then now we're at that point again. It's time to shuffle in. You know, so I, I think so. It's gonna shuffle in. I think so. This is one of the more harder divisions for sure. You know, we got we got a couple of people on win streaks and right coming up and mm -hmm. stuff. So it, it's a great time. You know, it's a great time. A bunch of a bunch of people is coming up and new names, and it's an amazing time. We won't find out. We won't find out who's uh who's going to be the new top five guys, the top, the champion and the contenders. So it's an exciting time in UFC. Were you surprised to beat retired? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was kind of tripping out. Yeah. Aren't we like the same age? But yeah. you know, you, you, you never know what's going on. You know, you never know what's going on with, uh, but not only fighting his personal life or what's going on and stuff. So, you know, I hope everything is, is good with him. I hope health wise and mental wise and just family wise, you know, everything great, good with him. Uh, best wishes to him. You know, he's, He's a killer, you know, and and I know a lot of a lot of fans want to see that that dream matchup of me versus him, you know, our styles, our lengths. 
and and everything you know our hair you know that we all we would have had the battle of the best hair i think you know so we said happens you know but nothing but the best for him and i and i hope whatever future endeavors that he does uh he he go kill it uh more likely to happen charles max two or connor max two um i don't know i don't know you know with the connor thing it's like I might have to lean to Charles because he's actually fighting. You know, Connor, he didn't really, like, come out and say, like, I'm coming back. He did say, he, I, I know he said, I'm coming back, but then there's no, like, mark he put down, you know. And But, like, at the end of the day, I don't blame him, you know what I mean? Like, why would he come back? You know, everybody's everybody in the fight game is trying to get to that point where they can make make enough and live their life and, you know, get out, you know, and get ahead. So, you know, we see what happens, you know. I think... uh I think the Oliveira one is probably probably way more funner and uh, way more possible, actually, to be honest. But funner wise, I would actually say is the is the Connor fight. The Connor fight would be be super fun. If you were in his spot, would you come back? Uh, probably not. Sit mimosas on top of my Lamborghini yacht. <laughs> Why not, bro? <laughs> you know, it is what it is. You know, traveling the world and doing all kind of high fashion shows. Right? You know, we, we see what happens. You know, but uh. Like I said, you know, Connor is a very competitive guy, you know, just like me. And I know I know that competitiveness is good in him. So, I don't know. Me and him might be throwing jabs at each other until we're like 100 years old. You know, you never, you never know. I would love to see it. It would be great. But first off, it's you versus Volkanovski for the third time this Saturday, July 2nd. It's, uh, it's very rare that we get a situation like this, as you know, as a historian. I mean, you don't usually get someone who's 0-2 going up for the third fight, but... The second one, obviously, is supremely controversial. This is it, though, right? Like, you, you feel like this is as must win as it gets? This is, I mean, there's there's, there's a lot at stake here. For sure. You know, and exactly what you said, you know, we're here for a reason. You know, we're here for a reason. If it, if it wasn't, if it was so, you know, guaranteed already, we would not have been here. So I can't wait. You know, I can't wait to go show a lot of history on the line, a lot of legacy on the line, and, um, Oh no, Max is going in there looking for, looking for a finish. So I can't wait. Good luck, Max. Can't wait to hear Hawaiian kickboxer Saturday at uh, oh. T-Mobile. You're gonna walk out to it, right? Yeah. You already know, bro. It's gonna, cool. it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great one. Can't wait. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. Good luck to you on Saturday. See you, brother. All right, Go there off. he is, the main man himself, Max Holloway, the pride of Waianae.